Hey everyone, it's Dave from firefightermedic.com. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to continue on our special skills sequence and we want to talk today about um, public relations and conflict resolution. So for the longest time in our you know recent history, the fire service was embraced by the public and uh, you know firefighters were well well um, received by the public and we didn't really have conflict with the public. Well, now we're starting to see a trend where, especially with the economy where it is, and the buzz of our retirements uh, being the cause of all the financial burden across the world, uh, we're starting to see the public be a little bit um, more hesitant and skeptical of the fire service. And um, also, as we, you know, it used to be when, when I first became a firefighter, when we went to the store to get groceries and stuff like that, people thought it was so cool that the fire department was there to get groceries. And now we go to the store to get groceries and people are wondering why we're driving this big fire engine, not a Prius. So one of the most important things as firefighters is we don't take that stuff per personally and we're able to have a conversation with those folks and try to explain what we're doing and why we're doing it and or um, when to evade and then just leave that person alone. Because some people, it doesn't matter. I mean, they just... Some people have diarrhea every single day in their life and they just hate everything and there's nothing you're going to say. Don't engage those people because then you're just going to get upset. You're probably going to say something that you shouldn't um, or wish that you hadn't and it's going to become a problem. Um, and then also on a side note, those are the people that go to the media. You know, When you snap at those people, they're the ones that are going to write the media and say, not only are these firefighters killing the economy with their you know, solid gold million dollar retirements, uh, but then they're also snapping back at the public. So obviously I'm being facetious. No firefighter has a million dollar uh, retirement, but that's what the public believes. So public relations, when you go on a call, um, obviously for most areas, the majority of the calls are going to be uh, medical in nature, medical calls. And because, you know, 911 is for an emergency is such an, is so subjective. Some people think, you know, a stub toe is an emergency and other people, you know, will wait until their arm is cut off to call 911. So a lot of the times when we have interactions, they're not actual emergencies. Now, because it's not an emergency to you, the experienced provider, or even the brand new firefighter, does not mean that it's not an emergency to the person that's calling. And we survive on the trust, the respect, the loyalty of the public. And if you break that, okay, you're basically cutting your own, cutting yourself off at the knees. So what does that mean? When you respond to a house, and there's a person there with, you know, their toe hurts, their butt itches, whatever the complaint is. If you treat them with respect and you give them whatever it is that they seek, a ride to the hospital, whatever it is, okay, they're going to remember you as professional, competent firefighters. And they still have given you their trust, which you need to survive. Versus you go in there and say, hey, this isn't the right way. This isn't why you call 911 and blah, blah, blah. And you basically scold them. And they're like, hey, I didn't know. Sorry, you know, I didn't know. It's my first time. Okay, you've given them a bad experience with you, and now when it comes time to to vote to support you, they're likely to not. So public relations are super important. Most people just think, oh, we're the fire department. People need us, and you know, no matter what, that's going to happen. That's not the case. We need to make sure that we are still the highlight of public service for the community, and we do that by giving them the best professional service. It doesn't matter if it's the worst emergency or the best emergency. We're giving them the best professional service and we're going to send them to the hospital or do whatever. We're, you know, whatever it is, the task that we're doing for them. And if they do come at you, speak to them calmly. Just try to get you, hey, what, what's going on? What's happening? What's your problem? Okay, okay, I understand that. And then what can I do for you, sir or ma'am? Okay? Because oftentimes when you put that in their, their court, they don't even know. They just want an event. You've given them an opportunity to vent. They're probably going to feel better. Okay, now, is this something that the most junior person on the job should be doing? Probably not. Probably it should be a supervisor, but um, there are times when maybe you're over at the grocery store by yourself and you might have to field a question like that. So just remember, we live and die on the public's trust, so we need to make sure that we're, um, we're square with them, we're professional, and uh, we treat them with the respect that um, they give to us as well. So if you have any questions, info at firefightermedic.com. My name is Dave. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.